Mexico. Okay, this is Jason again from Alaska. Inside, but a couple things I want to show as we're walking in uh, on this door here. This is your little uh, rod that basically you want to put in here. Uh, anytime you have the door open, keeps the wind from slamming back and forth. And when we operate our awning, it stays out of the way of the awning. So if you look right in here, it's coming in. You will see two buttons over here. One is for your awning in and out and one is for your battery coach we always leave it on uh, but sometimes somebody may kick it and it's going off for the battery coach which just turns the batteries off all out here so you won't have no power back here so you want to make sure this lights on and you have that and as far as your awning you just hit your out and if you look you'll see your canopy going out up top and then in canopy you see the canopy Going in and out. Okay. Okay, keep in mind though, keep in mind that when your canopy, <clears throat> if you want to use your canopy in and out, if you have your ignition running, it will not work. Uh, it's a safety feature. They don't want you to be going down the road and somebody come and push that button as you're driving down the road. So if the engine's running, it won't work. So just make sure you have no your ignitions off. Okay. So coming in here, um, we'll go over your, uh, you see your fire extinguisher is right here. Um, you have a couple of switches here, porch light uh, for the outside right here and for your light down at the bottom of your floor and your ceiling light, which turns this light on right here, okay? You do have your stereo right here, plays uh, <coughs> DVDs. Um, your radio has everything you need. You can do your USB. You can put your 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 own music. You can plug it in through your aux um, connector, and we do have that connector in the glove box. Okay. As far as this is your bed, this is your queen size over the cab bed. It's got your ladder here that's snapped on. Um, just keeps it from sliding around. And all you do with this is you just basically it slides on and, and just just like that. I recommend with any kids would not let them ride up here when you're driving um, it's a safety thing if something wants to happen you don't want no kids up here okay also over here is the tv on button yep. which people forget that is there but that's how you turn the tv on is on this side it turns your power on to the tv you have a curtain sitting right down here it's hard to see but this curtain right here basically goes across your front it gives your privacy so people can't see in your and you, windows here and you will have to tuck the curtain in because the manufacturer do not put great velcro stickies here so and also on, up here we did a special uh square pillow to keep the sunlight out and this must always be kept closed while not driving right actually this one has these vent savers on here can't show you right now but these vent savers when you open it they're covering the vent so you can leave these vents open when you're driving you don't have to have these vents shut oh okay not on this model okay um so you got your lights up here okay um We'll go to the first cabinet here. This is for your sheets and your pillowcases for your queen bed. And you got your full and your other full, which is your couch that makes out to be a bed and your dining room table will makes out to be a bed. Um, you got two seat belts here and you have, I think two here and yep, and two here. So you got four seat belts and the two. So this unit uh, has six, six, uh, can hold up to six people and here are your remotes for your tv to function that okay okay for your lights just hit right here here's your tv your remotes like i said you got to have that tv button pushed over there to turn that on okay um you have a toaster and you have a coffee pod here remember these two use 110 power so the only way you can use these is if you run your generator or you're at a campsite that you're plugged into that you have 110 power okay um here is your basically your dishes your cups your coffee cups and some miscellaneous uh, pots pans you need um sink here got your cutting boards and underneath the cabinet here 
you have a safety kit there it has jumper cables flares and you have a small first aid kit and of course you got some cleaning supplies and we do not on the checkout form it shows that you get a 15 dollars fee if you use the first aid kit but um we actually just need to check the first aid kits and make sure they have some supplies we're not going to charge you 15 dollars to use a couple band-aids okay so um as far as your stove okay you got your fan here you got your light like i said these are running off of your 12 volt batteries here uh, your stove here you turn um turn it to light and that's all you got to do it's pretty simple on here okay your stove is a little different or your oven not many people use it but if you choose it's kind of like a hot water heater at home you're basically going to go to pilot and you are going to put reach all the way in there you got to reach all the way back here and it's lit you can see it lit and you just hold it and hold it and hold it you need to hold it about a minute and uh once that pilot light's lit then you turn it but i didn't hold it long enough so show them how it works but that's how that's how that operates um as far as your drawers here um like i said your lighters here you got some oven mitts here's your some utensils knives and your silverware and then these drawers here has your pots and your pans okay um as far as on this cabinet here, you got seasonings, which which we'll probably pull some of these out of here just for the COVID-19. We're gonna keep bare minimum in here. So it's less things that we have to clean and it can be contaminated. And just so you know, everything is cleaned. Um, surface will be isopropyl alcohol and over all hard surfaces. And the Arby's will be sit, will be sit out for a couple of days before they're re yep. um, rented. So your refrigerator here, it is off right now all you do is turn it to auto it will show on and then you'll have a gas light come on that's saying hey it's running off of gas anytime you turn the generator on if or if you're i uh, got power here this light will go out and it'll just be on running off electricity anytime this is flashing there's two things to check one is your gas is not turned on or two is you're not level you need to level your rv up a little bit um and let's see, furnace wise, turn the furnace, all you're doing is flip it to on and to heat. That's, that's, kind of that's all you gotta do and it adjusts this. And then it'll kick on and then when you turn it off and off, um, it will. It takes a couple minutes to cool down but then it'll shut off. This is your- <clears throat> Carbon monoxide. Yeah, your carbon monoxide, like I said, test it out, it all works. And then of your course- Your smoke alarm. Your smoke alarm here, your smoke alarm, and then the other one right down here is your LP gas. LP gas is is heavier than anything, so it's gonna come down and your alarm will go off right here if you leave your gas on on your stove, okay? Um, air condition, if you were to need the air condition, just keep in mind, all you do is you go to cool instead, okay? air condition you have to be either plugged in or running the generator is the only time it will run nobody ever uses it though yes yeah so let's go over the control panel here okay one is you got your hot water heater okay you turn it on this pilot light saying it's out when it starts that light goes out if your pilot light ever goes out you just basically cycle this and let it do its cycle and when it starts like i said this would go out okay your water pump i always leave it on you're going to need it when you're running the sinks or the toilet or the showers you're going to need it to pump the water if you have city water hookup you don't need your your uh, water pump because uh, it, it has the pressure from the city so you don't need the pump to do that um, your test levels here test all your test levels so your battery charge, anytime you crank your battery up, your LP gas is not full, but it will be full and your water is full. It's kind of like just hovering right here. Um, your gray water is empty. Your black water is empty, but them sensors sometimes give you a false 
indication in the tank. And we do check the RVs as soon as they come back. We will pull the pipe and make sure that they have been dumped um, so that we can tell the next client 100% that there, it is empty. Just keep an eye on, like I said, this right here is your black water. It's just your toilet. If you see your toilet filling up, you can look down in there. You know it's go time to go dump. And your gray water, and it fills up, your lowest spot is going to be your shower. So that's where you're going to get your water first. When you know, when that's full, you know it's time to go dump and empty. It's always good practice. If you're around a dump site, campsite that has a dump option, just dump it. Just, yeah. That's it, you know. Okay. Here's your generator here. So all you do is hit your start. And they always start s slow. They always chug chug at first. That's normal. So keep in mind that when that just kicked on, my light over here, my gas light went off on my, um, on my refrigerator and my microwave kicked on. My microwave only works if you're plugged in or running off a of 110. Okay. So when you shut it off, you'll see that the microwave goes off and you'll see your gas light comes back on. Now it's running off of gas. This is pretty simple in here, self-explanatory. Yep. yep, your blankets and stuff are in here and pillows. You got a broom in here. Um, you'll see you, your towels and washcloths are right here. Um, you got your one ply toilet paper. You got a blow dryer and this is it's your TST. super important. Always put this in your toilet whenever you dump. And if it, it stinks. And if it stinks. It breaks down the smell and it just helps break down the materials in there so when it's easier to dump. Okay, there's one thing here. You have a plug right here. It's a GFI plug. If somehow you're running your generator or you're running, um, you got your plugged in, but you don't have no power to these outlets, it's because you're, you're, um, it's tripped. You just got to reset it. And this is just a hot, this is another pump here. Somebody turns it off here, you can turn it right back on. Okay, toilet. Um, toilet, pretty simple here. You just push that to flush. Make sure you use plenty of water when you're flushing. And the shower. And the shower is pretty self explanatory. This, you got your head hot, cold, and your ceiling light here. And um, other than that, uh, the only other thing is your um, your two beds here, so you it's pretty. Your, you just pull yeah, this there's up. There's a handle here. It's, you just pull this up and it lays it flat. Flies, yeah. Okay. This one's a little more different. This leg basically folds up and then that kicks up and just drops down and they're going to sit on this edge here and you pull both these pillows and out. And that's that's and pretty self-explanatory once you start doing it. And. Um, that is pretty much um, it for the inside. Oh, there's one, there's a couple things here. One is keep in mind that uh, this height is 1011, so no drive throughs or anything like that. A uh, gas stations, you're good. Just make sure you don't go through no fast food. You will. Uh, and the absolutely top off. no smoking, no cleaning fish in the RV. And um, just make sure you review the cleaning. Um, what we have for cleaning, which is just to keep it clean as if you, the way you got it. And there are some fees if you don't dump, if you don't fill propane, your gas tank is not filled, but you can review those in the documents. If um, you like this video, let us know. If you think we could do better, let us know. And, and uh, a couple things here. Um, so ooh. You do have your shades here. You got your sun shades and your black shades that come down. And the, um, so the one thing that I wanted to tell you about is you have a switch here. It's a battery boost switch. What that is, is if you basically left your uh, lights on and you have a dead battery and it don't start, you hit that and that pulls the power from your house batteries to start your engine here. That's very, okay. yeah, people don't usually. Okay, and, um, and keep in mind though, if your generator, if, if you let your gas tank go to a quarter of a tank, your generator won't start. Your generator runs off your gas tank. So you need, it's going to leave at least a quarter of a tank in there so you can get and fill up. So just keep that in mind if you ever let it get that low. All right, I think that covers it. Yep. So if you have any questions, like I said, um, let us know. We'll get this video out. And um, other than that. Um, and feedback is appreciated. Yep. <laughs> this good, is a new COVID thing for us. <laughs> yeah, have a good, uh, good camping trip and uh, feel free to give us a call if you have any issues. Thank you.